All right, this video is about forms of equations. You've learned two different forms, a point-slope form and a slope-intercept form. So I'm just reviewing you on these two forms. This equation right here is your point-slope form. If you remember, m is slope. And the point is the x1 and the y1. And that's the given point that whatever problem they give you, they give you a point and a slope, and you plug them in, and then you clean it up, solve it out for y. The other form that you're familiar with is called the slope-intercept form. It's the y equals mx plus b form. And again, here is m, and that's your slope. And if you recall, b is your y-intercept, which we have already talked about in class. So as we go along, those are the two formulas you're going to use on this assignment in this lesson, so it should all be reviewed. All right, so here's problem one. Find the line in point-slope point form given those two points. Notice I put up here the slope formula for you. I will not give that to you on tests. You need to know that. Here's the point slope formula. You need to know that as well. That's review. You should get it memorized if it's not already there. So the first thing I have to do to be able to get find the point slope form is to find the slope, right? Well, there's the formula for that. Now, if you remember y1 and y2, talk about the y coordinate. So here's y1, here's y2 x1 and x2, here's x1, and here's x2. All right, so if I plug those values into my slope formula, I say 0 minus 6 over 6 minus 1, I get negative 6 over 5. That's my slope. So now I know what I plug into the, the formula for m. Now for x1 and y1, I can use this point, or I can use this point. So there's two possible solutions for this problem. Let's do this, this one first, okay? So as I take this equation, I say y minus the y coordinate, which is 6, equals negative 6 fifths x minus the x coordinate, which is 1. So here's one answer for this problem. That is that line in point slope form. There's another way I could write this line with a different point. So let's say I have this point right here. And I'm going to do the same process. Use the equation and plug values in. So y minus y, which in this point the y is a 0, so I'm going to put minus 0. The slope is the same. And then x minus, what's the x coordinate? 6. All right, so if I clean this up, really y minus 0 is just y. So I have y equals negative 6 fifths x minus 6. So if I am told to put it in point-slope form, I leave it just like this. Either answer is correct, because you're using two different points, it's going to look a little different. Notice the slope is the same, however. Let's try the next one. Find the line in point-slope form. Again, here's your two points, x1, y1, x2, y2, and then find slope. So slope's our first step. So I do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. Um, I clean that up. Negative 2 negatives make a positive, and then I reduce that by 3, and I get four positive 4 thirds. So there's my slope. Now I'm going to put it in point-slope point form using this point first, okay? So y minus 8 equals, the slope was 4 thirds, and then x minus 2. That's one solution to this problem using that first point. The other one using this point. Okay, y minus the y, which was negative, so minus a negative means plus 4, equals 4 thirds, x minus negative 7 means plus 7. So again, depending on which point you use for your point slope form, you may have one of these two answers and both are correct. You don't have to find both, but you got to find one of the two. Alright, so now slope intercept form of the line. This is the y equals mx plus b form that you use a whole lot in Algebra 1. Okay, so before we dig in too much, we're just going to convert what's given to us into this form. So remember, you got to get y by itself, right? That's the goal here. y by itself, then the x term, and then what's called the constant, the term without an x attached. 
So look at example three here. Here's why. I want to get it by itself, and I want to clean up what's over here. So the first thing I would do is get rid of my parentheses on the right by distributing the negative 7. So I have y plus 2 equals negative 7x minus 7. And then I need to get y by itself, so good old algebra, I'm going to do the opposite of plus 2, so I'm going to subtract 2. So I have y equals negative 7x minus 9. So this is what I call the cleaned up version of the, the line, okay, where it's solved for y. Example four. Now, notice what you have. You've got four-thirds out here in front of the parentheses. Now, that's gross. A lot of people don't like fractions. So here's the trick to getting rid of the fraction. Take whatever number's in this denominator and move it over here outside. So now what I have is this. So now I have, notice the four stayed put. The 3 moved over to the, the left side. And now I'm going to distribute, distribute the 3. So I have 3y plus 12. Distribute the 4, 4x plus 28. Now again, the, I need to solve for y. So the first thing I need to do here is subtract 12. So I have 3y equals 4x plus 16. Now I'm going to divide through by 3. I don't want 3y, I want 1y. So I have y equals 4 thirds x plus 16 thirds. Do not give me decimals, give me reduced fractions like this. Even if they're improper, leave it like this. And please, 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 don't ever make your fractions like this. Slanting lines are not okay. You've got to make them stacked up and down. Okay, so now, last example. It says find the line in slope-intercept form. If they just give you two points, how are you going to do it? Well, you're going to start by finding slope like we did before in the other problems. Okay? If you need to label it, label it x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to have 7 minus 2, because that's y2 minus y1, over 4 minus 0, x2 minus x1. That gives me 5 over 4. All right, there's my slope. Now to find the line in slope-intercept form, I can pick either point. It doesn't matter. You will end up with the same solution. So if I use y minus, if I'm using that first point, minus 2 equals 5 fourths x minus 0. And then I'm going to clean it up, distribute out any coefficients. So I have y minus 2 but I'm going to move that 4 over. Remember how we talked about getting rid of the fraction? So distribute out the 4. So 4y minus 8 equals 5x plus 0. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm solving for y. Divide by 4. So y equals 5 fourths x plus 2. All right. If I had chosen a different point, I would have got the same answer because there's only one form of a line in y-intercept form. This is what I would have gotten. So hopefully that makes sense. We will talk more in class. Make sure you have good, nice, neat notes, and we'll see you in class.